Hello, people on YouTube who I keep telling not to subscribe, but y'all be doing it anyway. What? Uh, it's raining outside, hence my crazy hair. There was another great question posted to the, the video editing subreddit. If you can't tell, that's what I'm using as my source material and inspiration for these tutorial videos that I'm throwing up. This one was from a user named Togly, who wanted to know how to have three simultaneous videos playing in, uh, playing across a screen. So, uh, one, two, three. Togly even went so far as to provide a graphic of what the screen was going to look like. Unfortunately, using Vegas Pro, which is not a program that I use, but I do use HitFilm for Express, and that one we can we can do a tutorial on. Also free, also available on Windows and Mac, so if you're a Mac user, this is going to rock your world. And it's a little bit more complex than iMovie. I have no idea how it compares to Vegas Pro. Never used Vegas Pro, not a day in my life. Probably not likely to do so. Let's make this happen using three random video clips found on the internet. The first thing that needs to happen is that we need to open HitFilm for Express. For some reason, not a single one of my screens ever seems to meet HitFilm for Express's requirement. I think this is because I really like small laptops and tablets. Everything is 12 inches or smaller, my smallest one being a 9 inch little netbook. No, that's not true. I have a 7 inch Windows tablet, the HP Stream 7. Really, really like that thing. It is super powerful for such a tiny workhorse. This, is, this doesn't mean that it's going to, you know, um, run Adobe Premiere or anything, but it, it will run uh, old Windows Movie Maker, and you can actually do video editing on it if you've got the patience for its curmudgeonly tiny little cell phone processor. Anyway, we're going to start a new project. We're going to do 720p at 30 frames per second because everybody does that, so why not? I always like to start in the compositing viewer. I have set up my viewer to be what I like to see given my screen size. I have only one viewer uh, and it shows me what my final project looks like. I've got my layers down here and then I've got... Sorry, I'm yawning! Raid makes me sleepy. And then I have all of my media and controls and track and stuff over on the left. This is because I first learned to video edit in way, way old Windows Movie Maker and it didn't have the separate trimmer window. And then after that I learned, I expanded my skills to include iMovie, which also doesn't have the separate trimmer window. And even though I understand the purpose of the separate tr trimmer window, and by the way, no, that's not true. I first started to learn on a really, really old system with VHS cassettes and a little round wheel that you would spin back and forth to advance and, and remove, or to advance frames or to rewind frames, and then you would save it to another blank VHS tape, and you would have to pop out your source VHS tape, and then pop out your timeline VHS tape, put your timeline in the source VHS tape, the VHS player, and keep doing this back and forth until you got things exactly the way that you wanted them to in my school's rather expensively appointed media lab. So that's how old I am. And even then there was only the one screen. So I like my one screen. By the way, you could skip over all of that now that you've heard it if that didn't help. Anyway, we're going to import our media. I'm going to import my favorite um, cars driving, dash cam footage of cars driving at night. I am going to import my most recent tutorial as well, and why not my alma mater winning the NCAA championship because life is great. Oh, I forgot. There's also something else I wanted to import. I want to import the graphic that I was given in the question. There we go. I'm going to use that graphic as our basic layer, our first layer. Oh my goodness, we are a lot zoomed in. I'm going to zoom 
out a little bit on this. I like to use the keyboard shortcuts to, to toggle between the selection tool, which is V, and translate, which is H. Normally I put my keyboard shortcuts up on the screen. This time I'm not because it's just V, H, V, H, V, H, V, H. If you can't figure it out, just look over here to see which one is blue. How does this graphic can get it to fit? What do you think? Hitting shift allows you to scale evenly. If you don't shift, you can do all kinds of crazy things. I'm going to undo all kinds of crazy things. I'm going to start back over at the top and I'm going to scale evenly to try and bring this into my... Oops, that's the wrong way. See, H, I switched to the hand. I'm panning. The one thing I haven't mastered is the touchpad. And now V, I'm back to the pointer. There we go. That brings it pretty evenly into this frame. So now it should fit on the screen. Okay, let's bring in our first image. So we're going to put it up here on top of our background screen and we are going to then transform this as well because that's awesome. We want to transform this. Oh, it's also bigger than the screen. Well, and very much so. It's going to be fun. And this is why we are patient. Let's bring it down, make it a little smaller. Move it over here. This seems good. So now it is roughly the size we want and it's positioned roughly where we want it to be. You know, with this footage, there's really no right place to position it. And so now we're going to mask it out. In order to do that, I'm going to turn it off so that I can see these rectangles underneath. And then I'm going to go put in a new mask and I'm just going to mask out this particular rectangle. There we go. Mask is done. And now if I turn back on my layer, you will see that video. If you can guess that we're going to repeat this for all the other shots, you are right. Well, look at that one being the right size already. And there we go. We have masked out all of those rectangles. Now I was doing this super quickly, so I didn't take the time to make sure that my masks were as accurate as they could be, but I am quite sure that you will. So once we're done with this, we're gonna go back to our editor and we're going to go to our media and we're going to import composite shot one. Earth did that end up as video two? No, video one you are. And we're going to mute audio one. And then on top of that, we're going to put new audio track and turn off video two. We're going to set the in point here. Out point at 30 seconds. I'm advancing frame by frame. Forward, back, forward, back. Make sure that this is truly the last frame. I've set the out point there. Now I'm going to export. I'm exporting editor and the work area, which is in and out. It should be 30 seconds exactly. We're going to add audio and export. Final already exists because it's still there for my last tutorial. Hit and replace. And we wait 
and I won't make you suffer through all of this, so through the magic of the internet, it is now done. And that... <laughs> How you do it, my friend. That is how you create a three in one, four in one, five in one, six in one, seven in one, eight in one, whatever you want, two in one uh, screen in Git Film 4 Express. Again, three for Windows and for Mac. You'll notice that I use a lot of random footage in these tutorials, and I seem to be doing more and more because I lurk the video editing subreddit. By the way, if you have a question about video editing, reddit.com slash r slash video editing is the place to ask it because chances are I or somebody even more knowledgeable than me will be answering that and giving you really, really good advice. Just don't ask what software to use. There's a sticky in the sidebar. If you want a chance to get your random footage included in one of these tutorials, the same way I use those random clips, by the way, I will give you a shout out the same way I shouted out what each of my little random clips was, and I will give you a shout out in the video description. Please get in touch! You can send me a message directly. You don't have to leave a comment if you want to keep it private and kind of confidential, but if you're thinking about hoping to, you know, market your channel somehow, gain some notoriety, whatever, my videos do get views. I'm happy to throw some people your way maybe if they like what they see. Until next time, Jay out.